All right guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Paul, AKA Modern Reefer. And today I wanna to show you a cheaper alternative to the Alcatronic reagent. So in my previous video, I put out um, something along the lines of Trident versus uh, Alcatronic and the total cost for five year to 10 year. And in this video, I really just wanna focus on the reagent cost because I found something that might entice you to lean one way. Um, so basically what I've discovered is that the uh, reagent for the Alcatronic uh, is actually pretty uh, affordable. Um, Alcatronic uh, sells the reagent, the four liter bottle, for around $110. And this alternative is around $39. Um, so what happened is someone on Reef to Reef discovered that um, this uh, reagent that Alcatronic is using is a sulfuric acid. And what they did was they did some tests and analysis and figured out which exact version of sulfuric acid or which exact concentration was needed to yield the same results. So what they did was they actually purchased the sulfuric acid and then they diluted it based on uh, the recommendation from Alcatronic, which was uh, one part sulfuric acid to four part uh, RODI water. And through trial and error, they figured out which concentration to get. And so I'll be sharing that with you. And I also will put that down in the description in case you want to get a bottle yourself. But uh, this actually changes the whole cost for the Alcatronic long term. They are actually selling their 40 liter bottle for $110. Uh, but with this $39 cost for the 40 liter bottle through Amazon, it's the same stuff uh, that you will get from uh, Alcatronic but it's about less than half the price. So 110 to $39. So you're gonna get the same results, 2,500 test, but with the $39 cost, your, uh, your uh, cost per test, which was 4.4 cents, if you're buying the $110 four liter bottle from uh, Alcatronic, it will actually drop down to 1.6 cents per test. So, Going back to my previous video where I did the five year to 10 year, this would save you about uh, two thirds of the cost in just reagent. So uh, let's take a look at this uh, through just some quick numbers here. 10 years doing four tests a day. So 10 times 365 days equals 3,650, right? So we're gonna run four tests a day. So 3,650 times four gives us 14,600, all right? So that's how many tests we need for every day for 10 years if we're running four tests a day, 14,600. So what I plainly did here was $39 would get us 2,500 tests. So I took 14,600 divided by 2,500 and it gave me about 5.84. So that means I need 5.84 bottles of reagent. Basically six bottles of four liter reagent, six times $39 will give me 234 total cost for that 10 year span. So this is a really great option if you were on the fence you can decide if you wanted to go with the Trident or the Alcatronic. Uh, if you went with this option here and go with the generic re uh, reagent that I've just discovered here on Reef to Reef, then you're gonna be saving a lot of money. So just for this uh, case here, the Alcatronic reagent is 110. And if you, know, if you went that route, which is fine, 110 times six bottles will, uh, will cost you about 660 for that 10 year span. So 660 versus 234 for this generic sulfuric acid. So this is something that uh, just came to my attention and I was deciding, you know, uh, if this was the way to go. 
because the Trident uh, actually, you know, offers the magnesium and the calcium test alongside the alkalinity. And I was thinking maybe I should go that route, but um, seeing that I can get the reagent for $39 for that four liter bottle, uh, I am heavily leaning towards the Ecotronic and going that route. So I thought I'd just share this with you guys and just in case you're on the fence, just like me here, this will, um, you know, give you an alternative to buying a cheaper uh, uh, reagent so that you can uh, run this long term without um, adding on a lot of the cost that you normally would with uh, the Acotronic reagent. All right, so that is it. That's what I wanted to share with you guys, and hopefully, that'll give you an insight on some cost savings for the Acotronic reagent alternative. And I hope that um, this will help you in terms of deciding which route you want to go. So again, guys, thank you for stopping by. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'm always reading them and uh, responding to them as much as I can. All right, guys, so thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.